Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GP TV. I'm Brett. In my hands is the latest Scout Comics box. Now, Scout puts together a box that uh, comes out every month that is full of their comics. It's a pretty awesome box, if you ask me. You usually get a lot of first issues. You might get some variants. Uh, you know, it, it really comes down to if you, you just want a publisher who's you know puts out pretty solid comics. You know, everyone has misses and. A nice mix of things, um, or you're just really into collecting and want some things that are probably going to go up in value, uh, this is a great box to check out. I think it's definitely worth it. i very, very happy with it. I also get the bonus of, I get to do reviews of stuff afterwards, so, um, you know, double hit for us. Woo! Uh, so, you can go get it. we got a link underneath this video while uh, I'm doing this, and you can go purchase it sight unseen. But we're going to go and we're going to open up the latest box and give my opinions. Now, what's interesting is they actually do spoil their box every month and show you what is going to get released. I, myself, avoid those like the plague because I like to be surprised and not think ahead as to like what my thoughts are on, on the comics. I want to give like a, you know, an actual realistic response to what's inside. So, I don't like doing canned stuff where, you know, I'm thinking through days ahead of time as to what I'm going to say and all that. So, we do it live here. Ooh, okay, cool. Steak number one, I believe. This is awesome. Steak is a really, really cool comic. Uh, it came out last week, I believe. Um, steak number one, Debut, nice twist on the vampire story. So this is one is uh, this girl who goes by the name of Steak, Snake, uh, Steak. It's not Snake or Steak, Steak. Um, not food steak, Steak as in like you know, Steak. Um, so one of her friends basically gets killed by vampires. Now in this world, vampires are real, and they have made, made themselves known to the world. Um, and this is her just you know, wanting to seek revenge. There's a lot more to it. I mean, it sounds very Blade-ish in its concept. Oh, no, 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 no. It's something very, very different. Really, really good. I love this debut. I can't wait to see uh, further issues. I'm super excited to do that. This is definitely going to be a review uh, at some point on the site. Um, all right, Senga, Sengi and Tempo. I didn't read this one. This is uh, one of the debuts from Scout. Uh, Scout is their... Or, sorry, sorry. Sc Scout? Scoot. Scoot. Uh, Scoot is their uh, young reader focused line. I haven't read it yet. Uh, this is definitely one I want to check out. I'm very fascinated to see um, publishers kind of now focusing more on younger readers. Obviously, it's a huge growth um, area. This is definitely, this is already, I believe, already out in stores. Uh, that's one I definitely want to review. Soulstream, another uh, from Scoot. It is also, you know, young reader focused. Definitely want to review that one. I think this also came out as well. Definitely that, that's going to get a review. Ninja and Nuns. Um, this was I, just the cover and the concept. Like, there was not concept. The title alone sounds awesome. Uh, this came out, I think, two weeks ago. I uh, haven't had a chance to read it. Definitely one I do want to do a review of, so that will be coming soon as well. Loot, I believe, is maybe out this week or was out last week. I don't remember. It's, it's a recent release. Um, also a Scoot title, Young Readers. Uh, I believe the story is just like a uh, thief gets caught, um, winds up working in a Spock store to prevent theft, and then also steal stuff in her free time. I think that's the general story. Sounded really fun. Kind of sounded, you know, sound fun, interesting. One I wanted to definitely read. Uh, review will be incoming. Well, really, review is going to be incoming on all of this. Uh, Sweet Downfall. I, what is, I think this came out last week as well. Number another number one issue. Awesome. We'll catch up. We'll get some. Uh, we'll get some reviews done. No idea what this is, but that cover is freaking really cool. That's an awesome cover. I'm I'm digging that one. That's a great, great, great cover. Princess Revolution. I have no idea what this one is. That's that's kind of a well, one a, a cool title. I love that title. That's such such a great one. Um, I actually don't know what the comic is, so. Cool. I don't think this is out yet, so I'm excited about that. That's upcoming, hopefully. Uh, Cyber Spectre. Kind of got an old school image vibe on this one. Very like Cyber Force. Not necessarily a bad thing. First issue can't can't go wrong on that. I'm expecting kind of '90s throwback on this, and hopefully I'm right about that. So we'll see. Should be out fairly soon, right? I 
I'm going to guess it's going to be out this month. Don't know anything about it, honestly. Uh, this one's cool. All right, so we go. Let's see here. Let's do this one for next. We got a Jazz Legend. No idea about this one either. Not our first issue. Guess it isn't out yet. Um, excited for that. It's just kind of a, it's a pretty cool cover. Excellent. There's a lot of good ones in here. This is actually a pretty solid box, if you ask me. Uh, this one was over. Uh, the Shepherd Black Caravan was uh, kind of more of like a mature line, from what I can tell. Think more like heavy metal-ish in inspiration line. I, I know we got the digital. is isn't out yet. Um, this is definitely one I wanted to read and read relatively soon because I think that it, the cover looks awesome. I think the cover looks fantastic. All right, we got... A bunch of ash cans. We got We Don't Kill Spiders. Another Black Caravan. So that's ash can. We got Cult of Icarus. Looks like another vampire one. Don't know this one. Or I think we like just announced this one. We got a nice another ash can. Ash cans are, are hot. Those, those are pretty good good uh, ones. Uh, they, they sell pretty good and go up in value. Black Cotton number, well, ash can. This one, I think, is like a reverse where, like, black people are the majority and white the minority. I think that's the general concept around it. Could be potentially interesting. I, I, I'm intrigued. If, if that's the concept I think it was, if this is, I'm intrigued. Kind of sounds, you know, a nice, like, riff on that concept of black where we're going to throw out some, uh, shake things up in the world and kind of do some commentary on stuff. Um, overall, I'm, I'm excited for this box. There's a lot of stuff I've wanted to read off of this. Uh, and things I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just super excited. A lot of number ones. A lot, a lot, a lot of number ones. This we got three ash cans, and then I think everything else is is number one. So we got one, two, three, four. I think upcoming number ones that aren't out yet. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five. Yeah. So that's another six. So we got four, six. We got ten comics, three ash cans. I think mean, it's pretty solid. Nice amount of comics to read. All these I'm actually really excited to, to check out. These are all, uh, for the most part, these are ones that have been on my radar, and a couple I did, didn't weren't on at all, so I'm excited to uh, to see those. Uh, as I said, like, Scout, I think it's a really cool box. I like it. I like it for multiple reasons. There's a lot of series from Scout that I, I enjoy. Um, it's a, a solid publisher. Um, you know, you're, you're generally going to get some really good stuff. I mean, every publisher's got stinkers. It's, it, it is what it is. Um, but this is this is one that I'm I'm think, feel like I'm at least getting good. Um, so you can go get your own box and go get the next one. I it's we got a link under this video where you can purchase your own. Um, I have no idea what's going to be in that box. Just kind of excited to to wait the month and see. Um, yeah, we don't get anything remote. We just we just like Scout Comics. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you, you kind of get it. Like this, this is one for collectors and, and comic fans. Like if you are, if you just really want to catch up and check out a whole bunch of number ones, and you know, possibly get some comics that are gonna be worth some money. Like this is a great box to do it. I think that it's fantastic. Um, beyond that, if you are into Scout Comics, you can check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.